Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. In this video, we are going to learn what is primary key in MySQL, how to create primary key on single column, how to create primary key on multiple columns, and how to add a primary key on existing table which was created without a primary key. And finally, we will learn how to drop a primary key. First of all, I would like to take a look on the definition. Primary key in MySQL can be single or multiple fields that define uniqueness of a record. So that means if you have created a primary key on single column or multiple columns, those column or will not have duplicate values. So let's say if I have created a primary key on first name, I cannot have a duplicate records in a first name. If it is created on two columns, then the combination of these two columns will never have a duplicate record. A table can have only single primary key and none of the columns which are part of primary key can have null values. So there is a when you create a table there could be only one possibility. You cannot have multiple primary keys. You will have only single primary key per table. And if it is a single column or multiple columns, none of them ever will have null values. So first of all, what we are doing here, we are creating a primary key with single column on this uh, table okay so I have this table already created I'm gonna go ahead to the tech browser schema and then we have table here right click here and uh, drop table okay yes drop now and uh, then you see that uh, we have create table then table name and here you provide all the list of the columns data types and uh, everything at the end uh, you will say primary key and then uh, in the parentheses, you will provide the name of the column on which you would like to create the primary key. Here, I'm creating primary key on single column called first name. Let's go ahead and create this table. Table is created successfully. Great. Now we will insert the values. Okay. Here, I have insert statement ready. So insert into customer. Uh, ID number, first name, last name, and all that. And you guys know that uh, the first name is the column on which we have created the primary key. I'm going to go ahead and insert these values. Uh, so one row is uh, inserted. Let's execute, and you can see that uh, value Amir and uh, then Shahzad and all that is there. If I will try to re insert uh, this uh, record, uh, what will happen? Uh, it is a given me error. It's in duplicate entry armor for key primary. So this is what you see that it knows that uh, the primary key is created on first name and somebody is trying to put the duplicate record uh, value called armor again. Uh, okay, so that's why we got the error. If you try to select, uh, there is uh, already one record. No more records are there because it the second value failed. Uh, okay, so we can change it. I can make it armor one, uh, and this time we should be just fine uh, because. Uh, the first name column has a primary key and the values we are inserting are unique now. First time it had Amir, now it has Amir 1. Okay, that works. So the value in the first name has to has uh, be unique. You cannot uh, insert duplicate records in the primary key columns. Okay, one more thing what we would like to do, we would like to drop table here, customer. Okay, and then what we are going to do here in the next uh, scenario we are going to create a primary key on multiple columns very simple same scenario so you will say create table and table name and then provide the list of the columns and data types and then at the end you will say primary key and parentheses start and provide the list of multiple columns here I have a first name and last name so I'm creating a on uh, the primary key on two columns called first name and last name separating by comma and uh, that's all go ahead and run this statement okay create table a part of uh, primary key must not null so if you see here in the definition i have to say not null here in the last name i did not say not null that's why it was uh, giving me error okay that's the definition so we have to have not null this column cannot be null okay uh, invalid default value for last name I will be just cop sorry this is just a mistake here um, I don't want that anything no default value for last name okay the table is created now and I can go back here and see we have Amish Azad if I will try to insert this value here so you see that one row affected great as we know that uh, now the primary key is on its first name and last name and the value should be unique so that what does that mean if uh, 
as the combination of the values should be unique. So first uh, name is Amir here and I'm trying to insert another record called Amir. It will insert because the last name is the Shahzad1. So if I will insert this value again, so you will see the value is inserted and you can see that uh, now if we run this uh, statement uh, to see the data, the value is there. So as uh, the t primary key is created on uh, multiple column, uh, so as combined, uh, the value should be unique. So you see that here I have Amish Shahzad and here I have Amish Shahzad 1. So even in the first uh, column, I have the duplicate records. But uh, as the primary key is on multiple columns, it is uh, considering as combination of, uh, so the record should be unique as combination. So it depends upon first name and last name. So, but you can see that as combined, these values are different from each other. Okay, great. Now we can go ahead and drop this uh, table again. And here, what we are gonna do, let's say if the table is created without a primary key, in this case, I'm gonna go ahead and delete this row and create a table without a primary key. So we can create a table here table is created and that now we did not define any primary key so let's go ahead and take a look on the definition you can always say describe here describe customer and it should show you the table okay so you can see that no primary key is here or anything so after the table is created you can always go ahead and create the primary key if you would like you will say alter table customer whatever the name of the table you have in my case is customer then I will say add constraint and the name of the constraint in my case I'm gonna call this one PK customer and also if I would like to say I if uh, I'm creating on first name I can make it all the way primary key customer table and first name this the name depends upon your standards uh, and uh, whatever you would like to do most of the time I use a table and a column and then you will say primary key and provide the column name on which you would like to create the primary key so let's go ahead and execute the primary key is created now if we will say describe a customer it should show us right here see the primary key is the primary okay great so you will say alter table table name and then add constraint name of the primary key whatever the name you would like and then say primary key and then provide the column if uh, I would like to do let's say I'm gonna drop this uh, table here again if I would like to create primary key this table is created and uh, fine but uh, I would like to create the primary key on multiple columns uh, not a big deal so it has to be do same thing all the table customer add constraint constraint name and primary key and list of the columns here so you can do that as well not a big deal single column or multiple column same script so if you will go here now let me show you it is a let me see if we did, we did run this script okay last time sorry last name that's why we didn't see in the describe so it's a good idea when you run the script after that you at least verify by using describe uh, column uh, describe object name so now you can see that we have the primary key created in first name and last name okay so now if you would like to drop the primary key what you have to do you have to say alter table table name in my case is customer drop primary key you do not have to provide the name of the primary key because it is a single primary key on each table so if you have, that's all you can create so you don't have to define it if there is the primary key on this table it will be dropped so go ahead and execute execute it successfully and now if we'll say describe a customer and you can see that okay now there is no primary key on this column anymore so I will put all these scripts in the description and you can take from there. I hope this video is helpful. If you like my effort, go ahead and subscribe. Thanks very much for watching and I will see you guys in next video.